Hey here, Vision fam. It's Alicia Michelle. I'm excited today because I am going to be reacting to Denmark's national selection for the 2024 Eurovision Song Contest. Vision 2024. <laughs> I got a new video. I got a new video. Alicia Michelle. Hey girl. I'm ready to go. How you feeling? You're a Vision fam. Yeah. Are you ready for the show? <laughs> If you've never been in my channel before, welcome. If you love the Eurovision Song Contest, I think you'll love my channel. So please take this opportunity right now to like this video and to subscribe. Now, Denmark's an interesting country at the Eurovision Song Contest. If you're in the Eurovision fan bubble, you will have heard people kind of saying, oh, Denmark is a little bit sleepy. You know, they're a little bit safe. Sometimes they can be a little bit bland. But honestly, I'm always curious to see what Denmark decides to put together every year for the Eurovision Song Contest. So I'm going into this optimistic and hopeful because we don't have a ton of songs to work with. And so I really feel like, you know, Denmark has tons of talent. So I'm really curious to see what songs are jumping out at me and giving me kind of that potential potential winner vibe because guess what there's something about when Sweden and in particular Malmo hosts the Eurovision Song Contest so there are some people who when Malmo was announced as our host city for Eurovision 2024 there were a lot of people going okay is Denmark gonna win so honestly I, I want to go into the conspiracy theories I want to go into the hopeful tea reading that Denmark could be giving us something maybe special this year let's get into the reaction now as always I will be reacting to snippets but this is a little bit special because I made my own snippet video so I've got some longer snippets, longer than typical. So I'm really going to be giving these songs an opportunity to scream out at me, maybe winner potential. We'll see. Let's get into it. Play. Okay. Okay, this is a very anthemic opening. Is it crazy that I feel like this reminds me of the stuff that like Mariette from Sweden would kind of do these anthemic tracks? I'm liking the styling. Okay. Okay, this is an interesting vocal tone here, kind of rocky, a little indie. And we're telling a story. I mean, honestly, I'm really appreciating this visual. Like the styling is there. This looks like an artist. Sign in, all you gotta do is sign in. No. Hmm. All you gotta do is sign here, okay? Okay, I think this is getting to the bridge, the end of the song. Well, are people gonna sign here for Denmark on this track? I'm intrigued by the artist, but I don't know about that track. I, I, maybe I needed more edge. Okay. Okay. This is calling out different. Okay. In the sky, we reemerge. Okay. Ooh. Okay. A little dancey. Hmm. Okay, this is definitely an electro pop track. Lyrics are a little bit trite here. Okay. I'm well on my way to him, okay. This is cute and catchy. I will say the Danish acts tend to, uh, I would say, execute well. So if this is executed well, I think people could be convinced by this. I think the lyrics are a little bit trite, I think, or too trite to like win Eurovision. They're not invent, they're not inventive enough, I think. Let's break it. We have to. Okay, I'm not hating this. 
This could be interesting. I think I could put this on the playlist. Okay. I spread my wings apart. It's tearing me. Okay, so what's... Oh, we got another song. Okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay. This part I prefer. We're getting a little bit into like that mid 2000s edge. Like I feel like it's it's giving me a little bit 2012, 2013. We're definitely influenced by Nicki Minaj and a little bit of Gaga. I don't know about this, y'all. It's just, I don't know. I think I could buy this if it was feeling like really authentic, like this is what I'm doing. But it just seems to be like a hodgepodge of different musical artists kind of put together in one song. Yeah, because it's like what? It's like Ava Max, it's Gaga, it's Nicki Minaj. I don't know what this is telling me about this artist. Hmm. I mean, it's cute as a bop. It'll be executed well, I think, but I don't know if I would send this to your vision. Oh, okay, we got another one. Oh, this is um, uh, Basim, who we had at Eurovision before. And his song before was cute, but I didn't love it. Okay. Okay, we're giving narrative. It's giving a little Ed Sheeran, little uh, Mike Posner. Mike Posner before. I mean, I'm glad that we're getting a narrative. This is this is always good when you're telling a story because it makes people go, okay, we, what are you talking about? We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Hmm. This is cute. Hmm. Oh, this is cute. Oh, and there's another person. This is another song that is. It also kind of reminds me of like One Direction boy bandy a little bit. I don't know. Not my demographic. Let me see what this is talking about. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm intrigued as the artist hair styling. Hmm. Okay. Okay, narrative again, that's good. That's good when we're telling a narrative, makes people go, okay, where are we going? What's the story? Okay, so is this a breakup or something? This is sounding very Scandy. Scandy um, pop. I think this is one of the stronger songs I've heard so far, I think. Even though this is still a little bit, it is still feeling a little bit like I've heard it before. I haven't heard anything different. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Catchy. Build a castle out of sand. Trite. We've heard that lyric before. Oh, that's probably the most interesting I've heard. Okay. Mm. You know, we've got a lot of um, epic male ballads so far sort of floating in the space. So the challenge with this is you could have you could have some direct competition, potentially Denmark, depending upon what semi you end up in, depending upon what the results of some of the national selections are, but I'm actually liking this. Cause songs like this can kind of be trite, <laughs> you know, it's sort of serving the genre. Okay, now we're going to the bridge or the end of the song. Yeah, we've heard this before though too. There's nothing really inventive with this, but you know, come in my heart. See, I'm already singing along. Okay. Okay. Denmark. Okay. Denmark. I 
didn't hear anything revolutionary in there, but I also don't think I heard anything that was an out and out no. So that's good. I think we are still sort of living up to our reputation as far as kind of radio friendly, safe, inoffensive. Here's the challenge with this. In all te televoting semis, you're really going to need to have something sticky that people can latch on to. You can't just really skate by with safe. When we had juries voting in the semifinals, I think that there was a little level of like, okay, let me just play it safe and, you know, we can collect some of the points as as we go. But I think now with televoters, you're really going to need to do some things that are sticky and that are interesting. Now, last year, you know, Denmark really did invest in the staging of their entry. So that was good. I think having the visual was a nice element. But unfortunately, Riley was unable to deliver the song live, I think, vocally to stand up to it. And there was a lot of hate for the song. Like, I'll just be honest. I think there was a lot of people hating. For me, the standouts from this national selection and just the little snippets that I heard are probably um, You Blue or A Blue. Um, so you, Blue, Stella, and Saba. Janice, you know, he's doing it. It'll be delivered well. And I think I like the song. But I think Janice is going to run into too much direct competition. So I wouldn't even chance it. Also, if you are able to even make it out of the semifinal and make it to the final, then he's going to be going up against Slimon and it and no you know it just it won't go down like that so to me if i was denmark i'd be looking at stella ublu and saba that's it <laughs> that's it that's the only thing that i would be looking at okay well that was my reaction what do you think drop down and talk to me in the comments below do you agree with my reaction talk to me in the comments below do you disagree that's okay to talk to me in the comments below. This is a conversation and you know it. I am so excited for Eurovision 2024. If you haven't already, please like this video and please do subscribe. I have so much content coming for you. Thank you. Bye.